I want to welcome you again to this channel. Thank you for always being there. I appreciate you all along for always watching all our contents on this YouTube channel. And we are here again with another very powerful ministration, or should I say, message, stone throwers. I'm so sure you are going to be blessed watching these episodes. Personally, I was blessed. I did a lot of research by the grace of God before I came up with this message, and it has blessed me tremendously. If you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel, I encourage you, I beg you in the name of God to please do so. It will cost you little, just a little data. Subscribe, like, share, and send in your comments. In whatever ways you want us to improve, we are ready to improve. And those of us who have been sending our comments and our appreciation, we really appreciate you. The Lord will honor you in Jesus' name. So watch this episode and let us know what you feel about it. Thank you for always being there. God bless you. In Jesus' name. We are one body, one body. We are one family, one family. We are one people, we are one nation. So why do we fight one another? Why do we cheat? Why do you cause so much pain to your brother with so much conspiracy? With so much conspiracy. Looking for the downfall of your neighbor. Rejection, persecution in God's kingdom. Why do you fight and bruise one another with yet up to see? All these things, and you walk in these ways. She was just a stone. She was just a stone. If you do all these things, and you walk in this way, she was just a stone.
Are you sure you are alright? I've been noticing you for the past two days. Is everything okay? Oh. Ah. Ah. 
Sister? Yes, yes, yes. We are there. Oh, oh okay. Go in, go in. Amina. Thank you. Yeah, go in. Thank you.
I hope you know that you both are occupying sensitive and prominent positions in this church. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Sister Faith. Yes, sir. You are the daughter of our state pastor. And he is known to be a highly disciplined and well-respected man of God in the state and beyond. Um, and you, Brother Israel, yes, sir. apart from the fact that you are the choir master of the church, your dad is also a well-known professor who is well-known for his pointed integrity and high moral standards in the academic circle. Mm -hmm. He's also a very strong member of the beauty of the church and well-revered in the body of Christ generally. <clears throat> Now, we are saying all this not because you don't know, but because all eyes are on you. I hope you understand. Yes, yes sir. sir. You must maintain holiness and make yourself good examples and ambassadors of Christ. I hope you will not disappoint Christ. I believe God will help you. Amen. Amen. Well, <clears throat> let us pray. Israel, what were you thinking? What came over you? Eh? What, what, what happened to all the word of God we taught you? And your moral upbringing? Ha! You have stained my name and integrity. I'm, I'm confused. I, I, I don't even know what to do. Jesus. Jesus. I'm terribly sorry, sir. No. I want to live like you, Jesus. I want to love like you, Jesus. Daddy, please come out. I want to live like you, Jesus. What? I want us to discuss. I to About what? Like you, About you, faith, and everything. I am not in the mood to discuss now. I know you have been hurt, just as I am. I know you have been disappointed, just as I am. But I think you are not handling it rightly, sir. Sighing and brooding cannot solve this matter. I believe we need to hand over this matter to the Holy Spirit. She has also refused to come out of the room, just like you. You have refused to take your food, nor your drugs, for quite some days now. And you know what that is to your health. Have you forgotten what the doctor said? Please, don't let us give room to the devil to do further harm to our family. Please, please, open the door. I want to live like you, Jesus. I want to love like you, Jesus. Cast me not away from your presence, oh God. I 
Every now and though even face of shame I am sorry Lord do not forsake me Take me back Lord take me back Take me back Lord take me back Take me back Lord I'm the one I want to discuss with you. Meet me in the room. Once again, I want to welcome us all to this all-important meeting. This meeting has become very necessary in the light of what is happening in our church currently. As leaders of this great church, we cannot fold our hands and pretend as if nothing is happening. So, we have to deliberate on this matter and look for the way forward. Hence this meeting. So, the floor is open for your contributions. Thank you for this opportunity, sir. In my own opinion, I believe we need to deal with this matter decisively and urgently. Especially because our church frowns at sins and any misconduct. And I think the time to act is now. Sir, I want to support what Elder Joshua just said now. We need to make her stand on, on this issue. Especially as the whole church is waiting and expecting what we are going to do on it. So whatever we are going to do, we need to do it right and fast too. Let's call a spade a spade. Hmm. We cannot afford to sweep this matter under the carpet. We cannot say because the people that are concerned are children of prominent members of the church mm -hmm. and uh, we avoid to do that which is right. If we do, it will have a multiplier negative effect not only on the youth fellowship, but also on the church mm -hmm. and even the integrity of the church of God. Yes. So, that's my own opinion. I want to agree with all everyone has said. But I only want to ask that we should be cautious in our manner of approach, mm. especially because our state pastor is directly involved. Mm. And we all know that he is a man of honor and integrity. Mm. Above all, much as I am not saying we should not correct or rebuke where necessary, we should do everything in love. Mm. Let love lead. Uh, well, uh, Dad Johnson. What do you have to say? Let's go ahead. For now, I don't have anything to say. And Dr. Philip, do you have anything to say? None for now. Okay. okay. Now, I want to remind us all that tomorrow is the first Sunday after the discovery of this unfortunate incident. And the church will be expecting us to say something. So, what do we do? We are one body, we are one family, we are one people, we are one nation. Hey. I want to live like you, Jesus. 
I want to love like you, Jesus. I want to live like you, Jesus. I want to love like you, Jesus. Cast me not away from your presence, O oh God. I have renounced those evil things of shame. I am sorry, Lord, do not forsake me. Take me back, Lord, take me back. Take me back, Lord, take me back. Take me back, Lord, take me back. Daddy, Daddy, please come out. I think something is wrong with faith. What's wrong with her? I don't know. I have been knocking on her door for almost an hour now. There is no response. No response? Yes. Let, let's go and check on her. Faith, open the door. It's me. Oh, oh. We are one body, body. We are one family. One family. We are one people. Oh. We are one nation. So why do we fight one another? Why do we cheat? Why do we cheat? Why do you cause so much pain to your brother with so much conspiracy? With so much conspiracy. Looking for Thank you for watching this episode of See. My people, we will not condone such. We all knew how he was shouting and ranting when same thing happened to lawyer Judy. They publicly disgraced the poor girl and the family in the name of public rebuke. <laughs> well, this public rebuke must apply to this situation too. <laughs> you see, I just hate it when people hide their hypocrisy under uh, the bazaar of spirituality. I always have my reservation for all this sweet talk, high sounding holiness, preaching as if someone is the gatekeeper of heaven. Now, we can see that the same thing, same thing is not happening in their own house. <laughs> I, just, I just hope Pastor Jones to abide by our decision today. See, tomorrow is not far. Let's just wait and see. Ah, all right. Kelly. Wagba. Alright. Wagba. Oh. Hey, we'll wait. Alright. See you. We are one body. Body. We are one family. One family. We are one people. Israel. We are one nation. Israel. Hey, Israel. Dad, uh, yeah. I just received a call from Reverend. He said that uh, faith is nowhere to be found. What do you know about this? Nothing, sir. Eh? I've also been trying to reach her since yesterday. Our line is switched off. <laughs> ah, Israel. Are you sure you know nothing about this? I'm very sure, Mom. I don't know anything about it. Mm. Huh. Mom. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Looking for the devil in Rejection, persecution in God's kingdom. Why do you fight and bruise?
We are one body, body. We are one family, one family. We are one people. Oh Lord, have mercy. I can't imagine I'm at all on a Sunday morning with this great body. Ah! Where did I miss it, Lord? Please have mercy. So why do we fight one another? Why do we cheat? Why do you cause so much pain to your brother? So much conspiracy, so much conspiracy. Looking for the downfall of your neighbor. Rejection, persecution in God's kingdom. Why do you fight and bruise one another with yet up to see? If you do all these things and you walk in these ways, shall we just stop? <laughs> Where's your state pastor? <laughs> Where is your state pastor? He's nowhere to be found. Maybe someone in Teddy of the disgrace that will have befallen him today. That's the reason he decided to stay back. He's only postponing his evil day. <laughs> ah, hmm. even what I heard is anything to go by. I think the state pastor is another trouble as we speak. What's that? They said faith has been missing for the past two days now. Is that true? I think it's true. Uh, <laughs> that may be a tactic to distract people's attention from them. <laughs> we are there. <laughs> we are there. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> Hmm. I think it's high time we move up the place. We have exhausted all of our options. <laughs> Praise the Lord! <laughs> Brethren, I know some of us are aware of um, what happened between the daughter of our state pastor and the son of Professor Akonde, whose wedding was announced earlier. This incident is quite unfortunate. And we all know that this church has a principle of justice and holiness. And we have rules and regulations guiding our conduct in this church. Therefore, Sister Faith, Peter, and Brother Israel at Kode, although the two of them and their families are not in church now. They are hereby suspended from all their responsibilities in this church. Effective immediately. We also know that um, because the two of them are prominent members of the choir, I hereby announce the suspension of the choir unit ah! until further notice. Thank you. God bless his church. Ah. Ah.
I can't believe this is happening to us, dear. Honestly, this is so painful. To think that our son has a hand in causing pain to the man of God really hurts my heart. Mm. Uh, by the way, where is his drill? I've not seen him today. He should be in his room. Uh, please call him. Okay. <sighs> Huh, dear? Yes. He's not yet to be found. What? Uh, uh, have you checked everywhere? I did. Uh, everywhere? Uh, 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 MD, what are you doing, George? I came to find out what is happening. Uh -huh. See, I'm sorry I let you guys down. It's all my fault. I'm terribly sorry. See, we understand. Sincerely, we understand. It's a bad occurrence, but then we're all humans. Who am I to judge? But then, how are you now? I know if it's lie, I'm not fine. I know if it lie you. See, our house has been both hot and cold at the same time since the incident. I <sighs> can imagine that. I can imagine that. But then, guy, uh, what about this rumor about faith being missing? Is that true? It is true. true. Jesus. See, that case alone is another big issue. I have to leave now. I don't want anyone to see I'm here, to see me here. And I was in Riaza yesterday. Riaza? Which, which Riaza? There was practically no Riaza yesterday. Ah. How many people came? The few people that came to Riaza said everybody was just moody and sad. Ah. There was no Riaza yesterday. Oh, God. Ah. God. Yeah. God. Yeah. So, what will happen to today's service? Service, today's service. The board of elders have suspended you and Faith. In fact, they have suspended the entire choir indefinitely. God. God. Service. Ah. service. <laughs> this is all my fault. <laughs> Even the service today was just cold and just <sighs> odd somehow. That was service. <sighs> God. I'm sorry for that. It's all my fault. Okay, good. <laughs> I have to go. Okay, guys. I have to go. Take care. Alright, thank yeah. you. Ah, <sighs> God. I must live like you, Jesus. I want to love like you, Jesus. I want to live like you, Jesus. Who is it? Otesta. What do you want? Please, open up. What is it? Sorry, it's our standard procedure again to check on our clients. If we notice anything suspicious, we notice you've not stepped out of this hotel since you checked in two days ago. So I'm here to ask if all is well with you. I'm fine, thanks. Would you like me to get you anything? Not at all. Okay. Take me back, Lord, take me back. Take me back, Lord, take me back. We all saw the turn of events in our service today. As the state pastor was not in church, the information reaching me is that his daughter is nowhere to be found. So, what, what do we do? Sir, please, sir, please. Uh, I believe and I want to advise that you should go ahead with the plans as agreed. You mean to suspend the state pastor? Of course, yes. We need to be very careful. Not to lay a bad precedent in the church. We all here know how the state pastor himself, as in the past, treated the similar issue when it you know, happens to a senior member of the board. So, I believe in justice for one, justice for all system that is obtainable in this church and the word of God for both. Yeah. yeah, if I may come in, sir. I want to align my thoughts with Elder John Zeton. It is important for us to note that this case in question is already beyond the four walls of the church. It's already in the public domain, especially on the social media platform. Beloved, everyone is eagerly waiting for what we are going to do. 
If this has been news filters to the ears of our leaders at the headquarters, before we take the right action, we all here know what that means. I also want us to consider this. And that is what is going to be the feelings of the parents, the young boys and girls that similar issues have happened to. And the church took decisive steps in punishing them. Yes. If they have the perception that we are dragging <laughs> in administering justice. Remember, justice delayed is justice denied. There's this aspect too that we keep on not talking about. And that is the aspect of Professor Akade, whose son was responsible for the pregnancy. <laughs> Leaders of the church, I want to suggest that Professor Akade should be suspended indefinitely from all leadership responsibility he is carrying out in the church. What is good for the goose is also good for the ganda. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> well, we will deal with that issue later. My question is this. If we suspend the state pastor, what happens to his position? Oh, the church constitution is clear about that. The next minister around steps in and takes his responsibilities. Yeah. The church of God cannot be held into ransom by anybody. Whatever the case may be, I suggest that we take caution in the way and manner we talk about the servant of God. Especially because he is not the one that erred directly. Hey, excuse me, please. Ah. Ah. What is it? Nobody is talking about a man of God anyhow here, please. Ah. What does the Bible say about a man of God in, in the book of 1 Timothy? Mm -hmm. A man of God was able to go to his house. He further says, any man of God who is not capable of overseeing his household properly is not fit to oversee the church. So, don't let us be psychophantic about this matter, please. Please, please, brethren, calm down. Let's calm down. So, what happened to the parents? Regarding the family of Professor and Mrs. Akadi, they will also be suspended from their position of uh, leadership Excuse me. I have decided not to talk again since it looks as if I am the only one swimming against the tide here. But I feel led to say this. Why is it that we as leaders of this church have not taken time to either pray for or visit the families of our state pastor and Professor Akonde? How many of us have taken time to personally visit or pray for the two families? How many of us have invited these two children involved to rebuke them in love or cancel them? We've all heard that faith has been missing. And none of us. Enough of all this blame game. Ah. We cannot just continue to be listening to all this uh, earlier than now, Simon. This honorable seat has never stopped anybody that wishes to visit or pray for the family concern, not to do so. No one should be sermonizing us here. <laughs> and if we are praying for them in our prophecies, we don't need to be making any public announcements like Pharisees. We all read and understood the book of First Corinthians 12. The chapter of love. First Corinthians chapter 13. Whatever. You see, in love, there is correction. Look, enough of all this argument and bickery. Please, what is the way forward? Period. Ah, what's the way forward? Um, sir, we are really sorry that our son has caused your family so much pain. Yes, sir. It is well. Um, have you heard anything about our whereabouts, sir?
Mm. Not yet. And have you involved the police? Yes, we are. Um, we are praying, sir. And we believe and trust God that very soon she will return home in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It is so wonderful. Elder, I don't like the way we are dragging on this whole matter. I swear that by now the letter of giving the details of what happened should have been sent to the headquarters. Don't worry, my brother. I have also noticed that Pastor Jones is growing cold feet because he's afraid of the senior pastor hmm. being his boss. But trust me, as the secretary of the board, I have waited in. The letter is already typed. And I'm sending it to the headquarters today. And also, I will copy the district headquarters too. Uh -uh. Don't you think copying the district headquarters is a bit going too far? No, 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 no. Uh -uh. Have you just forgotten how the senior pastor disgraced me and my family yeah. over an issue oh. that will have resolved secretly? Yeah. And even though if you forget that, did you forget how he disgraced you? in the name of correction. <laughs> you see, my brother, he that comes to justice must come with clean hands. You got it there. Yeah. Let's hop in. Mm. Yeah. Sir and ma'am, we are really trying our best to make sure that uh, we find your daughter and bring her back home. But uh, in order to help our investigation properly, we, we really want to ask some questions from you. Okay. Sir, on the day your daughter left home, what can you remember provoked her to leave this house? I can't really say because I was in the study throughout that day. Maybe mommy can say something about that. Hmm. Nothing really. Because of what happened between her and her fiancé, she was in her room throughout the day. I really didn't know the exact time she actually left. Okay. You know we didn't rough and you. Because your dad is a prominent member of the society. We believe you will tell us where you have hidden faith. But if you don't tell us, you will leave us with no other option. Now, where did you keep faith? Tell us! Officers! I've already told you the whole truth. I don't know where she is. I told you I've also been trying to reach out for days now without success. And you have set my phone to confirm that. I don't know her whereabouts. I don't. Listen, since you've refused to tell us what we want to hear from you, we have no option to detain you here. Until you tell us the truth. My dear, we're taking away all the privileges that you have enjoyed so far. No, no. We are going to extract the truth from you. We will go to any length to do that. Okay? You will tell us! You will tell us the truth! You will tell us! We are one family. So why do we fight one another? Why do we cheat? Why do you cause so much pain?
is it? I'm the Otesta. I'm fine, thanks. I would like to see you. Please, open the door. I didn't place an order. Yes, I know. I'm not even on duty today. At least, not on hotel's duty list, but on God's duty list. I don't understand you. I mean, I'm here to see how I can be of help to you. Be of help to me? Yes. Mm, when was the last time you ate a good food? Well, the first help is for you to eat. I want to live like you, Jesus. I want to love like you, Jesus. I want to live like you, Jesus. I want to love like you, Jesus. Cast me not away from your presence, oh God. I have renounced though even things of shame. I am sorry, Lord, do not forsake me. Take me back, Lord, take me Pastor back. Paul, you look disturbed. Is anything the matter? Huh. Reverend, I guess you have not heard what happened to your friend, Reverend Peter. You mean about his daughter's pregnancy and her sudden disappearance? Yes. I don't know you have heard about it. What are we going to do, sir? Reverend Peter is a well-respected man of God in this city and beyond. And I believe he need people like you around him in this trying time. Yes. Thank you so much for your concern. I have been praying for him. We shall join hands together to intercede on his behalf. Meanwhile, what about the assignment I gave you? I'm almost through, sir. I'll bring the report before Sunday, sir. Very good. God bless you. Dad. Mom. I'm sorry for causing so much pain and disappointment. I'm terribly sorry that I gave room for the flesh to make use of me. I regret my action and all the effects that singular action has had on our family, Reverend's family and the entire church. I have not been myself since what happened happened and I don't know how I can ever make things right. That's why I'm here to ask for permission to go on a personal retreat and seek the face of God. Maybe he can show me mercy. I'll be away for a few days. Hmm. Where exactly do you want to go for this retreat? A Christian camp where I can be alone with God. It is well. <laughs> Broken verse to remind me I'm a lost sheep search for me Deliver me from my reprobation, Lord I'm a broken verse to remind me I'm a lost sheep search for me 
deliver me from my reprobation, Lord. It is well with you and your family, mommy. We are the representatives of the Women Fellowship. We are here to identify with you in this hard and trying time. We know that the Lord will take total and absolute control in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Mommy, we are praying for you and the family. As a matter of fact, in one of our prayer meetings, the Lord revealed to us that Sister Faith is safe. She is within the city having a dealing with the Lord. And very soon, she will return home. Amen. Thank you so much for your love and concern. I am really very grateful. Please extend our greetings to them. I will. Thank you. Can we pray with you, ma? No problem. Dickness Akombi, please pray for us. Shall we pray? In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our righteous Father, we thank you for the family of our mommy and our daddy. We are very, very sorry, sir. All our hostels and all their camp facilities are fully booked. Sir, have you tried other camp facilities along the road? That's where I was coming from. Everywhere is just booked. <sighs> you are so sorry, sir. All right, no, no problem. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. All right, take care. Safe trip, sir. All right, thank you. Our blood shed for my redemption A lesson to my gain All for me You have disgraced me. You have brought shame on my family and ministry. Ha, Jesus. What were you thinking? After your wedding has been announced in the church? Ha. How will I face the board of elders and pastors? Ha. How about the press? I can imagine the caption. They will give on their papers and on the social media. The only daughter of a popular pastor was impregnated by the choir master of his church. Ha! Jesus! Is this what we taught you? Ha! You are a disappointment to God and to this family. Ha! You have disgraced me. Just get out! Just get out! <laughs> that was a night I decided to leave home. To be honest with you, I have been deliberately fasting so as to lose the pregnancy. Since I know as a child of God, it is a sin to commit abortion. Hmm. There is really no difference between you deliberately starving yourself to get rid of the baby and all the abortionists. Anyways, don't you think your parents would be so worried and traumatized? with your absence, even possibly more than what had happened. I know, but I'm too ashamed to go home, or even the church. You know, you remind me of the prodigal son. He was so ashamed to face his father, but one day, he spoke to himself, defied the shame and the feelings of guilt. <sighs> He went back home, and surprisingly, he got back to the waiting warm embrace of his father. Running or staying away from a problem or challenge does not solve the problem. But confronting it headlong is the first step to the solution. I'm not going home. Sister Faith, don't continue. Please, Sister Gloria. Please let not talk about it. Thanks for your love and concern. Okay, no problem. I'll be on duty tomorrow. I'll check up on you again. Thanks a lot. Grateful. But can you do me a favor? What? Just see me after the gate, at least for the first time in days. Yo, eh? I will not go beyond the gate. Oh. Do you? Okay. All right. Thank you.
You called for me, sir? Yes, I did. Come on, take your seat. Yeah. Would you like to become the choir master of the church? Sir? <laughs> you heard me, didn't you? Yes, yes, I bought but... Hey, 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 hey. there is no birth. In fact, I want you to become the next choir master of the church. So, go and prepare for the assignment. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. <laughs> you have what it takes. And I want to believe you will not disappoint God. You can take your leave. Toby Lover, my son. Thank you, sir. <laughs> ah, Jesus. What is it? Is this from the headquarters? Sophie, go! Hey! I 
Divinity, our avatar. Hey, love. So there's a twist here, and I say, I repeat it. Yeah. So we are going to the Amuni now. Let's go, Holua. That's good. One more time, Haribiti. Haribiti. Hey. You are the greatest I got. You are the most I got. You are the great I am. You are the mighty King. Hey. So we're taking it slow. Haribiti. Hey, hey. Now take it up a bit. I repeat it. I repeat Now let it. I repeat it. You are the most I got. You are the great I am. You are the mighty king. You are the one who was. You are the one. Come, eh? Ha, repeat it. He will a repeat it. He will a repeat it. There is no one else like you, oh God. He will a repeat it. He will a repeat it. A repeat it. A repeat it. Hey, not to be true. I repeat it, I repeat Hey, not to be true. I repeat it. You are the most I got. You are the great I am. You are the ancient of days. You are the mighty God. You are the greatest King. You are the mighty King. You are the man of war. I repeat it. Arabata, 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 Arabata. I repeat it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. As the new choir director, I would need your cooperation. We thank the church for lifting the suspension on the choir. Hallelujah. I want you to know that some things we have to change in the way we operate as a choir. We would have stringent rules and regulations to help us move forward as a people. Also, we'll be having night rehearsals now to help us become better and better. Does anyone have a suggestion or a question? OK, thank you very much. Do you want to claim that you don't know what your friend is passing through? Of course, I heard about it. But since he chose not to tell me, I felt I should... Uh -huh. You feel you should leave him to bear the burden all alone? Huh? Just like many Christians we do. But buy it about it. Blame him. Or use his ordeal as point of reference in your testimonies and messages? Not really. 
No, please, sir. You should know that I see beyond the facade of your self-deception. I know how you have been jealous and envious of him because he gets more invitation than you and that he's making more progress in ministry than you think you are making. Are you actually doing God's work or your work? And so, when you heard about what happened to his daughter, you were happy secretly, isn't it? Is that what the Bible teaches? That was the sharp rebuke I received from the Holy Spirit, and I know it is the truth. I am sorry for allowing the flesh to take the better of me. I was jealous and envious over nothing. I have since asked God for forgiveness, and that's why I'm here to ask for your forgiveness. Please forgive me. <clears throat> Thanks a lot, my reverend. I was also wrong not to have informed you. You see, I took the incident so badly. I overreacted and left the place of my fellowship with him in the process. But thank God for his message and restoration. The Holy Spirit told me that my daughter is coming back home very soon. Oh, wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, I'm so glad. And truly, I'm, I miss you so much. I have missed you. And henceforth, we are in this together. Thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I can only imagine how happy your parents will be to see you soon. I hope so. Sure. Hey everyone, it is my prayer to encourage you to watch edifying content on JATM Global Network YouTube channel. There you will watch movies that are edifying and interestingly, the movies are good for all ages. Irrespective of your gender, you will like the movie, it will be good for you. You will not regret watching any of it. Children can watch it, elderly people can watch those movies. Any of those movies are very good and they are powerful by the grace of God. So this movie you are about to watch is Stone Throwers. By the grace of God, this movie has been put together by the help of the Holy Spirit to reveal deep mysteries of life, even to us. And I believe you watching it, you have no reason to regret it. And please, when you watch this movie, subscribe, 
like, share, and send in your comments. I'll be very glad you can do that for me. The Lord bless you. Thank you very much. Oh, 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 hey. oh, we are one body. We are one family. One family. We are one people. We are one nation. So why do we fight one another? Why do we cheat? Why do you cause so much pain to your brother with so much conspiracy? With so much conspiracy, looking for the downfall of your neighbor, rejection, persecution in God's kingdom. Why do you fight and bruise one another with yet up to see? All these things, and you walk in these ways. She was just a stone. She was just a stone. If you do all these things, and you walk in this way, she was just a stone. Would you like to become the choir master of the church? Sir? You heard me, didn't you? Yes, yes, sir, but... but... Hey, 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 hey. There is no birth. In fact, I want you to become the next choir master of the church. The Lord asked me to tell you that all shall be well. Go home. Oh Lord, have mercy on me. Are you actually doing God's work or your work? And so, when you heard about what happened to his daughter, you were happy secretly, isn't it? it was a cold of silence. When you kept silent, when the board members were scheming against the reverend, as if they were God. Now I understand why you were quiet. So, you hid your joy, knowing that their actions will push you to acquire the position of the reverend. Isn't it? Kai! But, Everybody knows he has been keeping me away from the altar. Ever since I, I, I made that simple mistake. Oh, Jesus. So, you call an attempted adultery a simple mistake? What will you have me do for you? 
<sighs> Pastor, I think it should be the other way around. Yes. It should be what do you want me to do for you? <sighs> My pastor. Hmm. Pastor. Uh, it, what it, is this? Uh, 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 it's about uh, 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 clothes. Uh, See me in my office. Now. It's okay, sir. It's okay, sir. Do you know what could have happened that day? So because the man of God rebuked you for doing a wrong thing, you decided to revenge and you can't talk with the board members. And you know how this man of God loves him. You did what was wrong and he picked you up in order to amend the who at the broken place. But here you are, you joined hands with traducers to pull down your benefactor and your spiritual mentor. This is the man God used to pull you out from the gutters of life and put you on the pedestal of God's grace. And here you are, biting the finger that fed you. And since you have successfully secured his suspension, how has the church feared under you and your carnal board members? You don't have to shout. Why would I shout? Well, it's because I'm telling you the truth that no man can tell you. Since I've been telling you quietly in this house, have you ever responded? Did you, did, did, did you listen to my advice? Since you took over, have you not been mismanaging the church fund? Have been unscrupulous church members not been attracting you or deceiving you with their vain and vague gifts? Was it not because Professor Ajide wanted his son to become the choir master that gave you a car and you collected it? What of Edna Johnson sent a huge amount of money into your account, yet you received it for a reason that's not to you and lots more like that? Since you took over, how has been your work with God? Do you see here from God? Anyway, I've told you my own because I don't want to be part of this. It is. I'm a broken verse to remind me. I'm a lost sheep search for me. I'm so sorry, dear. I overreacted. You know I love you so much. Because of that, I allowed my emotion to take the better of me. I'm sorry, Daddy. For all the pains I caused you and Mommy, I'm truly sorry. I decided to run away not because I wanted to hurt you, but because I felt you see me around will cause you more hurt. Daddy, I'm truly sorry. I have missed you so much. Thanks for coming. And thank you for all your concern all this while. The reason why I call this meeting is concerning the situation on ground about our children. Yes, sir. The Lord has consoled us and has given the instruction that I should put things in order. And thank God, our children have also realized their mistakes and sought for God's mercy. So, we have to put what had happened in the past behind us and look for the way forward. In your opinion, what do you think we should do now? Um, um, thank you so much again, sir, for being a father indeed. Uh, we, we have also been thinking in that direction. 
we suggest that we should have an engagement ceremony and a course wedding. Uh, if it's okay by you, sir, and ma. Nadia, what do you think? I'm cool with this, sir. But I think we need to change the initial date. That is... Uh, well, that, that's okay, sir. Yeah. Uh, we, we have no objection, sir. Ma, we have no objection. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. I appreciate it. Okay, thank God. And in that case, we have to meet again and again to plan and ensure it works out. I know the Lord will glorify Himself in the end. I think we can pray now. Let us pray. We appreciate our Father for giving us this opportunity again. And for sorting things out for us, we return our glory and praise unto you. The program will commit into your hand. Honor yourself again and again. We give you praise, our Father. Blessed be thy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Precious, what have you done to me? You are pregnant, and I do not know. Until an outsider informed me, right under my roof. Ah! You have disgraced me. Ah! Jesus. Now, who is the bastard I got impregnated? What is this? Who got you impregnated? It's Toby. Toby? Who is Toby? The new MD. You better stop speaking in parables before I tear you into pieces. What is Andy? The new music director, ma. Hey! Hey! The son of Professor Jide? Yes, ma. Oh my God. God help me. Ah, hey, God help me. Mommy, ah, 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 wake up. Mommy, mommy, please. Mommy, 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 wake up. Mommy. You are warmly welcome. Thank you. Please have your seat. Have your seat. Uh, I thought you said the soprano singers are meeting you. <laughs> yes, I said that. Oh, so where are the others? Well, obviously they are not coming, and my parents have travelled. And what does that mean? It means it's only you and I. Um. What's the meaning of this? Please leave me alone. Was this your plan? When you first turned your son on us as the new choir director. Now, he has molested half of the choir members. Either by sweet talking them raping them and brainwashing them, including my own daughter. Uh, Elder, please calm down. Calm down, Elder. Don't tell me to calm down. Why you couldn't tame your wayward and white son? Now you are telling me to calm down. Excuse ah. me, excuse me. You cannot come to my house and you start to insult me. Why you have never trained your daughter so that she cannot be deceived and then get pregnant? Oh, so you are now supporting what your son has done? No, it's not a matter of supporting. I'm telling you a fact. I even want to believe that she seduced my son. She wants to destroy his ministry. Prof! Or in your opinion? Ah! Yes! 
Oh, like father, like daughter. Now listen, listen. I am only giving you a minute. Get out of my house. As I said, you go get out of my house. Uh, Elder Johnson, out of my house. Uh, oh my God. You. I cannot be exchanging what with this charlatan. I Where's my phone? You. I am going. I'm going to charge you for trespass. You. So why hey, do we fight I'm one another? Why do we cheat? Why, 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 why do you cause so much oh. pain to oh. your brother? With so much we desperation. With so much we desperation. Looking for the devil of your neighbor. Rejection, persecution in God's kingdom. Why do you fight and bruise one another? With yet up to see. If you do all these things and you walk in these ways, she would just a stone. She would just a stone. If you do all these things and you walk in these ways, she would just a stone. his mind and everybody knows it. <laughs> yes indeed. Is it because you are torturing over him with cheap gifts and your tasteless food that makes you think he's yours? You are joking. <laughs> oh, I see. You know how much I've invested in him. <laughs> because he suddenly becomes the new him. Do you think he can come from nowhere and say that he belongs to you? That is a lie from the pit of hell. Just Shut Don't tell me to shut, shut up. up. Don't definitely. tell me to shut because up. Don't be his mind. Like he I likes know. me. He, he like likes me. His mind and mind. Will you stop this and that nonsense? So you are both one of them. Can you imagine? The two of you fighting over someone who is just messing around with anyone is scared. <sighs> and that's no regard for any of you. Why are some sisters so gullible uh, like this? Uh, uh. Oh, you have not heard that your Toby has impregnated Precious, <gasps> the daughter of Dickness Alonge. Uh. You don't know that he raped Damilola uh -huh. and Funke. I'm sure. You have also sold your bodies to him mm -hmm. so cheaply. Mm -hmm. You should be ashamed of yourself. You both are not as like you. As sellers to woman woods. You have to be. You will be ready. You are looking radiant today. Thank God for his mercy. So, how are you doing? I'm doing great to the glory of God. You know, I was just thinking. If we had been wise enough to be meeting our parents' house just like this and not where we rented, probably what has happened wouldn't have happened. Honestly, I don't see any reason we should rent our own apartment. I am an only child just as you are and there is enough space in our house. See, if you don't want us to stay in the main building after our wedding, we can make use of other apartments in the compound. No. I insist to pay for the place of God. Whether we stay in the building or other apartments, we are still under your parents' roof and I will not be free. But you know my parents are... My mind is made up. We are paying for the apartment tomorrow and we are moving in immediately after our wedding. Yes, ma'am. No problem. It was the last time we went to the rented apartment that this happened. If I had not insisted, what happened wouldn't have happened. <sighs> Well, you see, let's pull the past behind us. We don't have the power to change the past, but we can shape our future with the right decision we make in the present. I believe that. I agree with you on that. So, what dates do you think we should fix, or should I say, have you prayed about the dates to choose? Mm -hmm. Have you? If there's anything I've learned from what has happened, is that it has strengthened my relationship with God. And now, there is nothing I do without consulting God first. So yes, I have. Wow, uh, God is faithful. Uh, the dead that clicked to my spirit is May 13. What? What is it? Can you imagine? That's the same date on my mind. Really? I'm telling you. Wow, God is faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
Hmm. This is nothing but the hand of God. Hmm. If you will observe it, virtually everyone who was against the man of God is being affected one way or the other. Yes, yes. I perceive that we have offended this man of God hmm. and God is fighting on his behalf. Eh? What are we going to do? Because we cannot continue like this. Ah. I'm a broken verse to mm. remind mm. me mm. I'm a lost sheep, mm. search for me Father, thank you Believe in me I give you praise Thank you for your message Thank you for restoration Thank you, my I'm Father Thank you, my Father Father, thank you, thank you, Jesus Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus I celebrate your faithfulness, O oh God. Thank you for this mercy, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for restoring me. Uh uh, Sister Gloria, since all these days. I'm angry, oh. Please don't get angry at me. You should know the nature of my job mm. now. Mm, uh -huh, mommy, this is the uh. Sister Gloria I've been talking to you about. You mean your angel? Ha, good day, Ma. Hmm, God bless you, my daughter. Mm. Hmm. Thank you for allowing God to use you. I never knew we can find such a sound child of God in a place like an hotel. But when faith explained everything about you to me, and I came to the conclusion that there are exceptions to that, and you are definitely one of such exceptions. Now tell me, how do you cope working in such a place like that? Hmm. It's not somebody the grace of God. When I got employed at the hotel, I was really skeptical about working there being a child of God. But because I've been seeking for a job for a long time, mm -hmm. so I decided to take it to God in prayer. And I felt God is asking me to go ahead. But it gave me an instruction that I must be a light there. Hmm. The truth is that there have been so many instances and occasions where I'll be tempted to compromise. But because of my determination and the grace of God, I've been able to influence four other hotel staff to become children of God. I'm still counting. Hmm. Hmm. But now I thank God. God has given me a better job in a private construction oh. company. Wow. Thank God for your life and testimony. Thank and you, congratulations ma. on your new job. Thank you, ma. Wow. Your testimony has proven to me that Christianity is not a function of where you find yourself, but who you are as a true believer. I am so proud of you. Hmm. Well done. Thank you. Faith, where's your dad? I think um, it should be in the study room, I guess. I know you are not ready to go now, because this day that you have come, you must eat something. Yes. Tell me what you want to eat. Oh, mommy, I'm all right with this, ma. Hmm. No, 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 no. This is not all right. No. I'll get something for you. Well, I'm coming. I'm Thank you, mommy. Like Jesus. It is well with you, ma. How are you not feeling? Thank God. Well, do you think that what Professor Ajide did is good? Hmm. Did anything happen? Nothing really happened, but uh, there's something we would like to inform you about. What is it? <laughs> Sir, we are here on a very sensitive and serious matter. By the grace of God, you are a well-respected man of God in this state. A apart from that, you are a good friend 
of our state pastor. We all here are members of the board of leaders in our church. But before God and man, we have all offended God and our state pastor on the incident of his daughter. We deserted and ganged up against him for reasons best known to each one of us. We gave in to the dictates of our flesh in allowing Satan carried out his ministry of condemnation and victimization. But God has proven to all of us that is no man. We have all suffered the consequences of our actions. So, as a matter of fact, one of the board members is in the custody of EFCC, as I speak with you, for an offense he knows nothing about. He was just implicated. So, sir, having realized our mistakes, we, we are here to make amends and ask for the forgiveness of our pastor. That is why we are here to plead with you so that you can please help us reach out to him. Hmm, it is well. I can understand. But first and foremost, have you all gone before God to ask for his forgiveness? Because your first offense is to God before your pastor. Y yes, sir. That's okay. Now, back to the issue at hand. What you all did was very wrong. It is true that the Reverend's daughter fell into sin. And one way or the other, this will rub off on the Reverend and his family. But you should not assume the position of judges. You are not God. You remember the case between Miriam, Moses and Aaron in Numbers chapter 12? Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses, the servant of God, because they thought he has committed sin. When any child of God, especially men of God, fall into any sin or mistake, if we cannot pray for them and get them restored back, we should not assume the ministry of stone throwers over them. I am sure you don't understand what I mean by the ministry of stone throwers. Do you? No, sir. That was the story of a woman in John chapter 8, verse 1 to 11, who was supposedly caught in the very act of adultery. And the people who caught her all came with their stones to throw at her. If not for the intervention of Jesus who came to the scene, they would have stoned her to death while their own sins are carefully tugged under their clothes. That is the ministry of stone throwers. Any Christian who is quick to judge and condemn a fellow believer, or indeed anybody for that matter, whether in their hearts or on the pulpit, on the social media or anywhere, a person is a stone thrower. Thank God you have all realized your mistakes. I believe God will teach us how to address the issue. Let us pray. Great and mighty God, we thank you for this hour. So, Reverend, that was what they came to share with me, and that is why I called for this meeting. So, over to you, sir. Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What height of love, what depth of peace, 
<laughs> when fears are still and striving cease, my comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ, I stand. Because of Christ, from the bottom of my heart, my family and her forgive you all. And I want to say that in spite of all that has happened, I still love you all. Let us pray. Darling, I must tell you the truth. I've lost my peace since the incident happened. I don't know how I allowed the devil to manipulate me to this extent. But thank you for being more than a wife to me. You have been an encourager, a supporter, and a voice of reasoning to me. Even for God and you, I would have gone astray many, many times. Honestly, I love you for who you are. And I'm very grateful for having you as my wife. Thank God for everything. I love you too. <sighs> but I have no more requests to make of you. Anything for you, my dear? Hmm. I want you and the board members to look for a way to make amends on this message you sent to the headquarters about the Reverend Elia. Ah, that's already ongoing. Sincerely, we didn't just write memo. We sent a two-man delegate to fast track it. And the good news is that we have received confirmation that God is taking over the case already at the headquarters. <sighs> Thanks again. And forgive me for whatever way I might have hurt you. I forgive you on one condition. What condition? That you be the one to cook throughout next week. <laughs> like Tony our honeymoon. Deal. A deal? First and foremost, sir, I want to thank you for always being there and for your fatherly love, sir. We give God all the glory. <laughs> sir, uh, I came representing the leaders of the church for two things. Number one, I came to give you the good news that we have been able to receive the restoration letter of our state pastor. Wow, that's wonderful. Thank you, sir. Great. I'm so glad to hear about that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, secondly, sir, we came to a conclusion that uh, we would like to give in the letter as a surprise, along with other surprise packages we have in plan for him for his coming birthday this weekend. <laughs> and we also want you to be part of the surprise on that day, sir. Oh, that's so thoughtful of you. Thank you, sir. That will be a very great way to celebrate him on his birthday. Yes, sir. And for your information, I am in. 
with all your plans. Just carry me along with all the arrangements and the time. All right, sir. We will do like that, sir. Uh, thank you very much once again, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Ah, the Lord indeed is faithful. He truly is. We thank him for everything. Mm. Here we are, smiling again. Mm. In fact, I really don't know why I've been so joyous lately. It's been very long I felt like that. Maybe when I gave my life to Christ. Mm. Or when you got married to me. Mm. No. What I felt then was happiness, mm. but not this type of unexplainable joy. No offense intended, though. Not taken at all. <laughs> mm. These spiritual people, you can perceive things in the spirit. How do you mean? Maybe it's because your body is too this time. Me. But you know, I'm not a birthday freak like you now. Hmm. Maybe your mind is perceiving that a big gift is coming your way on that day. See you. Big gift. So <laughs> what are your plans? Me. Plan. My only plan on my birthdays is to go out very early to have a sound communion with my God. And after that, if you give me food to eat, I eat. And if not? <laughs> then I fast. <laughs> This year, you are taking me out. Ah, who is celebrating birthday and who is taking someone out? Okay, we shall leave to see. <laughs> hmm. Just try me and see. And look, that day, your prayers must not exceed 7.30 a.m. Uh -huh. Or else, I will break the door. Ah! Hmm. I mean it. 7.30. Serious? Ah, mommy. Why are you acting as if you are up to something? Hmm. I'm up to nothing. That is girl. Mm. Are you keep secret? Mommy. You have come again with your cool data because of daddy's birthday, Abby. Ah, this is more than daddy's birthday. Your daddy has been restored. Praise! Oh. See the girl I said she keeps secret. Oh, I didn't know that's a secret. Now you know. See, the board of leaders of the church have decided to deliver the letter to him okay. as a surprise on his birthday, together with Reverend Joshua. Wow, I'm so happy! Hmm. Meanwhile, I also have my own plan. Hmm. I'll keep you posted. I just want to get informed so that you play along. Hmm. Yeah? Let me go before your dad starts looking for me. Thank you, Jesus. A lot of restoration. Thank you. Okay, sir. Oh. Yes, I think that would be okay, sir. Um, we also have something to present to him, sir. Uh, we'll work by that, sir. Um, thank you so much, sir. Uh, till tomorrow. My regards to the family. Thank you, sir. <sighs> so what? Uh, we all agreed to meet by 8 a.m. At his house? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, we'll be meeting around the transformer before his house oh. so that we can all go in together ah, that is great so ah. how far with our package this boy is putting finishing touches on it as we speak uh, i think it's better we go and take a look ah, that is nice yep. Yep. <clears throat> Let your presence be so mighty over me, Lord, that I may know you, O oh God, that I may have more and more and more of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, open, Lord, according 
How far? I think it's round enough. But you know that in a life is spare a few minutes. Ah, yes, I know. It's obvious that things we work out as planned. Let me call them to start coming. Okay. Okay. Hello. You people can start coming now. Yes, we are ready. We are set. All right, I'll be expecting you. <laughs> okay. I tell you, one day you go reach your turn. Very soon. Why not turn to Jesus, our Lord? Jesus. He will heal, forgive, and restore. Remember, say tables they turn over. One day you go reach your turn. Yeah. Why not turn to Jesus, our Lord? He will heal, forgive, and restore. So why do we fight one another? Why do we cheat? Why do you cause so much pain? Fellow brothers and sisters, please don't forget why we are here. Yes. It's when he comes out, we have to sing out. <laughs> please, please, please don't forget your... I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. My agreement with him was that he will round up his prayers by 7.30. I don't know why he has decided to tarry this far. Let me go and bring him from the mountain. <laughs> so, uh, meanwhile, don't forget the plans, please. We have to sing out eh? and make sure we are Please, how far? Please, how far? Uh, Reverend, it's an pastor. I'm so sorry. He was brought in dead. Ah. So, there is nothing you can do. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. oh. Lord Jesus.
welcome. Let's go. But I'm here to finish my assignment on this side of the river. Yes, you are correct. You still have some assignment yet undone. But the whole now of the work has called for you. Ah, but why? I have begged him. And he told me he had forgiven me. Yes, he has. Remember, he asked you to put your house in order. Yes, I remember he told me that. But I thought, I thought... Oh, you thought? You thought he was referring to the incidents of your daughter? Do you also remember the strange joy you were having? Ah, the Lord indeed is faithful. He truly is. We thank him for everything. Here we are, smiling again. In fact, I really don't know why I've been so joyous lately. It's been very long I felt like that. Maybe when I gave my life to Christ. Hmm. Or when you got married to me. Mm. No. What I felt then was happiness. Hmm. But not this type of unexplainable joy. No offense intended though. Not taken at all. <laughs> but I asked for mercy. Yes, you did. And he answered your prayers. That's why it calls for you, so that you can come home and rest. Because in the short period of the incidents of your daughter, you didn't undo it well. You didn't trust him enough. You took matters into your hands. And you caused a great damage to your health. I guess you don't know the cause of your death. No, I don't. Sir, I need to send a note of warning here. As in, you must not miss the prescription of your drug for any reason. You have to follow it very strictly. Because using it will be very fatal and could lead to a lot of contradictions. Ah, uh, but. If you follow it very diligently, like I said, there's no cause for harm. There's no problem. Meanwhile, uh, mommy, this is where this issue comes to you. Uh, you need to assist daddy in this matter. You know, women are more organized than men. So please help to monitor daddy to ensure that he takes his job very well to avoid any complications. Yes. Once again, Mr. and Mrs. We are welcome. Come to think of it, why did you allow what happened to bother you so much? Is it because of your zeal and love for God? Or because of yourself? Is it because of your love for your daughter? Or because of yourself? You are so much consigned about your reputation rather than allowing the Spirit of God to guide and lead you through. You missed it at that point. You missed it. As a result of the complications you inflicted on yourself during the course of the incidents that way you done. You even stopped taking your drugs. So God, in his infinite mercy, decided to call you home to save you from pains. The hosts are waiting for you. Let's go. I'm a broken verse to remind me I'm a lost sheep search for me Deliver me 
good day viewers thank you for watching this episode of stone throwers we have come to the end of the first season of stone throwers i hope you have been blessed with this series thank you for all your comments and all your support in all ways thank you so much so by the grace of god this is the end of the first season and we are believing god to go to the next phase to shoot the second season as god will be giving us grace we are hoping that by early next year it will be coming to your screen we therefore want to solicit for your support in whatever way that god put in your heart especially financially so that we can actualize the second season of this series our account details are at the end of this episode as the lord helps you we'll be glad to hear from you thank you for always being there we appreciate all your comments and all your contributions to make us better by the day we really do appreciate you thank you so very much god bless you in jesus name amen Oh,